We're back for another one. There's Ben sanding his life away. He loves it. Bob, we're back. Hello. So what we're working on today, we've got a 49 Chevrolet truck in here that we built many, many, many years ago. Uh, pretty nice truck. He takes it around, does the World of Wheels show circuit with it, does a lot of that indoor stuff. Whoa, we need to fix that light. Oh my goodness. Let me turn back around this way. So um, in for just a few upgrades. Let me show it to you. Would you like to see it? It's right there. So what we're doing, we're going to do disc brakes in the rear. What we did on this truck when we built it, it's a carbureted crate engine, which needs to be changed. Hmm? You watching this, Adrian? Need to change that. Uh, but anyway, if we get time before this first show, we might pull the engine and trans and see if we can paint all that. Um, we never really did that when it went in. Still looks really nice, but uh, be cool if we did some cool paint on it. But we have disc brakes in the front. We have drums in the back, because that's the way the S10s came. So Adrian picked up this rear end that Bob just tore apart. It's got a disc brake setup on it. I believe it's out of a 91 Blazer, maybe? So we were going to just swap this rear end in there. But as we got into it, we realized this is not a happy rear end. So we're going to pull some of the brake parts off of it, use those. And you can see on his rear end back here it's all painted up nice it's got the chrome diff all that and we hope um to get it four link because we look we did the leaf springs and all that on that then frame chassis all painted up nice so we're gonna see if we can start swapping some parts over get some new parts on the way uh do a little painting hopefully get him some disc brakes and a four link back here what kind of glue did you guys use uh, JB Weld. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we did not use JB Weld. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe somebody did. Who knows? That's crazy, man. We don't like leaks around here. <laughs> Hey, Bob, yeah. did you get squirted on? Not yet. I gotta find a squirter first. We used the good stuff back then. I guess. <laughs> Wish I could remember what it was. She's gooping now. Oh, man. You do that at home? Bobby don't like it messy. Nothing like dropping your nice, fancy, expensive camera on the concrete, huh, Bob? Yeah, luckily you didn't hit the uh, truck, eh? Shh, shh. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't even get close to it. Nah, it was way over here. We did put a big dent in the, you can't see it, but it's, it's right under you. There's a huge dent in it. So, plans changed real quick. So our plans changed on the 49. The owner decided not to do the disc brake swap. We're going to stick with his rear end. We're going to put the drums back on it. Um, Bob... It's taking all the stainless lines we did on the AC stuff. The owner wanted to go back with just black hoses, so we've got that taken care of. We've decided for him it'll be better off in the future just to go ahead and do like a quick performance rear end. We'll get that. Everything will be how we want it. We'll have our disc brakes there. So uh, I think we'll be able to 
save them a little bit as opposed to going through all that stuff. And I've also under the hood, getting rid of the stainless hoses we had there, doing aluminum tubing for our coolant hoses. Uh, just getting rid of some of this old stainless stuff that used to be kind of in. Gonna do some cleanup under here. Then, Carter, wherever he's ran off to, Don't see him. Taking some of the silver parts we painted back then, we're gonna paint them all black. Owner just wants to go black with everything under there, so he's got these being prepped right now. Hopefully we can get them in the booth here shortly, start shooting some black. I'm gonna laser beam my head. And into the engine compartment, we've got the AC lines all done. We've got those built in the black hose. We've got the heater lines done, waiting on a couple of clamps. Um, got rid of that braided stainless radiator hose we built an aluminum one a couple pieces we had laying around tig welded it together we're going to heat shrink these in so we're not running any clamps should look pretty good clean it up in there all right so i was telling you guys we built this truck a while back it's made the rounds it's done really well um just a just a nice clean built truck but we're building another one for them right now and it's uh, if you watch any of our previous videos there's a couple times I mentioned um, there was one we couldn't show you. Sucks. I'd love to show it to you, but I can't show it to you. But it's over there. It's right, right, nope. That was too far. Don't go, don't go over there anymore. So. We're building a really cool truck over there. We're, we're documenting that as we go. So soon, hopefully, um, we'll be able to show you guys a little bit of what's going on over there because it's, it's really neat. It's an exciting build. Tons of fabrication going on over there. And man, I so badly wish I could show you guys. But anyway, I can't. No reason to talk about it. Hey, Carter. You got my rear end all slicked out? Working on it. How's it feel? <laughs> oh, I don't know about all that. All right, so I had to run out of town to film car fix, but the guys got the 49 all put back together. I think it turned out really good. I'm liking that better than the silver. I think that definitely cleaned it up a lot under here. The silver looked good, but um, you know, it changes it up just a little bit under the truck because <laughs> those judges at those shows, man, they're, they're checking the top of the transmission. They're going through everything. So um, able to get it a little better under here for him. So it's looking really good, but turned out nice. Hopefully he'll do good with it. 